Well, between David Foster and Ryder Hedgedahl, all eyes were on Victoria over the weekend. And as if that wasn't enough, it was also an American holiday. And Swift Shore, restaurants and pubs were packed, hotels were full, and many say they felt it, the buzz that comes with the perfect weekend. Joe Perkins has more. On Saturday, Larry and Deb Murphy from Calgary tied the knot. And the first thing you do is come to Victoria. Yes. The next morning we flew out to Victoria. Yeah. yeah. When they arrived on Sunday, the newlyweds found an inner harbor full of sailors. An empress in cleanup mode and a city packed to the brim with Americans taking advantage of Memorial Day. Where are you from? Um, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Oh, just came over for a short weekend vacation. This morning they lined up at the Clipper, ready to leave behind a city that is still sizzling. Staff at Pescatori's downtown say they've never seen anything like it. Uh, control chaos. <laughs> the orders didn't stop. Business weekend in two and a half years. As tourists from all over the world converged on the capital city. We were packed. We were sold out Friday and Saturday night. It will be months until tourism Victoria can attach a dollar figure to the weekend, but early estimates are green. It's going to be in a few millions of dollars uh, from an economic impact over the course of this weekend. A stretch of days when luck appeared to be on the city's side. Stars were here, the weather cooperated. Like, there wasn't one flaw on that weekend, not one. one in tourism Victoria expected the weekend to be busy. The weather was a bonus and the overseas attention from Italy. Hezdal has Canada to himself today. Gold icing on the cake. I think it reminds us uh, that visitors really come here for the beauty, uh, for the pristineness of this city, uh, and we have to make sure that we maintain it and protect it, make sure we renew our infrastructure, and that we continue to work together for events like this because they matter so much for our residents, for the pride factor, as well as the economic value. If it really was the perfect weekend, Larry and Deb missed most of it. But perhaps the best compliment to the city is that they don't care. It's hard to explain it, but we love it here, and uh, we were saying this morning that we'll be coming back here every year on an anniversary. Yeah. yeah. They might not get a weekend like the last one, but they don't seem to mind. Relaxing place to be. The float planes and the little harbor tours, and <laughs> it's all great. People of Victoria think so too. Joe Perkins, CTV News, Victoria.